can breathe, but it's solid ground. Mm -hmm. it's like I'm in the rock. Mm -hmm. You're in the rock. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm. There's crystals. Mm, there's still white light. Inside the earth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's this white light coming from? It's coming from me. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to draw your attention to yourself. Do you have a form there? No. A body or a mm -hmm. So if you don't have a body, you could move very easily through this place. Mm. Tell me what you do there. Mm. Describe to me this place. You said it has crystals. It does have crystals? Mm-hmm. How? What type, what type of size are these crystals? Are these small crystals or large crystals? Mm, they're powerful. Mm -hmm. Can you connect with the power of these crystals? Mm, there's the blue light. Mm -hmm. Where is that blue light coming from? It's the same blue light I saw earlier on the horizon. Mm -hmm. It's there with the white light, and there's lots of really rich, like deep reds, deep like I would call um, root beer color. Mm -hmm. Where do you see these colors? It's in the real dense uh, energies. Mm -hmm. In this underground? Underground. Mm -hmm. It's like rock. It's move. It's it's moving, but very slowly. Mm -hmm. It's just real. It's real. Real dense energy. What is this light doing in this cave? In this underground crystal mm. place. Just, ex just there. Mm -hmm. okay. You had told me that these crystals are very powerful. Can you mm -hmm. receive any information from this crystal? Mm. Connect with the crystals. What kind of power or information is in them? Mm, they're magic. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm, they're wise. Mm -hmm. Powerful. Just We can transmute energy. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what it is that you're meant to be doing in this place today. These crystals are wise, so I'd like for you to connect with these crystals. And let's find out if we can mm, they're, see. They're very playful and joyous. Mm -hmm. What information do they have for you? Have you known each other before? Have you interacted mm. with these crystals? Do you know them? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they help. They help us. They help the trees communicate. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about that. Mm. They feed us. Mm -hmm. How do they feed they, you? Oh, they're like... It's like... It's this 
sounds silly, but their lights like glitter. They provide us glitter, mm -hmm. like pixie dust. Mm -hmm. um, they feed. They feed us and help us. Help us to bring the information up. What do you do with that information once it's in the trees? Mm. Oh, we share it. Mm -hmm. Can anyone access this information from the trees? It's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's there. It's flowing. It's always, it's always there. All right. So let's find out what information we need to tap into today. Allow yourself to feel that information as it goes through. Yeah, it's like I came up from the roots, mm -hmm. and now I'm up in the branches. Mm -hmm. So what size mm -hmm. do you see yourself as? Oh, giant. Mm -hmm. Huge, like the bigger... I don't know if I've ever seen a tree so big. But it's only half of me is above the surface. Mm -hmm. What do you have beneath the surface? Oh, it's like a mirror, a mirror of me. A mirror of you underneath? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's almost like really on a circle. So what do you do below the surface? The part that cannot be seen? Hmm. I bring the white energy in. Mm-hmm. Into the tree? Through the tree, yeah. Mm -hmm. Down into the, into the density. Because the, the, the white is very... Mm -hmm. Porous, maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and much more fluid. And do you connect with any other trees? Oh, we're all connected. Mm -hmm. Tell me how it is that you're connected. Mm, it's like veins. Mm -hmm. um, we share, we share information, and we share resources. Underneath. Underneath. Mm -hmm. We talk to each other, like like the um, telepathically. Mm -hmm. mm, we share information about what's going on above. Mm -hmm. mm. Can anyone tap into that information? No. What is the importance of that information that you have? It's protected and guarded. And sac it's sacred. It's sacred. It's very sacred. What happens when one of the trees mm. is taken down? Mm. It makes us harder for us to connect. Mm -hmm. It's sad. It's it's, but we can't focus on the sadness. We mm -hmm. we grieve. Well, we on we honor the tree by making new roots mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. the tree was. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And we. Yeah. Very good. Mm. We, we know new, new, new growth will come. Very good. So let's close that scene now. Allow yourself to close that scene. And now let's go to another important event in that same lifetime when something else was happening. Be there now. Mm. It's a boy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Oh, the, the, the boy's a son of, from the tree. Mm -hmm. my, 
My father was, I'm the boy. Mm -hmm. My father was the tree, the tree that got cut down. I'm the seed, but I'm human. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I... I'm, I'm really not sure I'm human. I might be a troll mm -hmm. or a fairy or something like that. Take a look at your body. What does it look like? No, oh, tiny. Mm -hmm. Really tiny. I'm a. It's like I'm a dwarf. Okay. It's like I'm a. I'm a dwarf. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm really um, earnest. I'm like out. It's so. Earth is, it's, I'm, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm sort of in awe of everything. Like, I'm not used to seeing the trees above. Mm -hmm. I'm used to being below. Mm -hmm. Are you born below the earth? Mm -hmm. I think, yes. I think, mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I was born below. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just, here I am. So what do you do? Awe. What do you do with these trees now? Um, I, I think I, hmm, I don't think I guard, I, hmm, if I guard, and guard isn't the right word because I don't see anything evil, I see only beautiful, like it's a paradise. Mm -hmm. But I, um, I'm, I'm there for the trees. I'm there for the trees. Are you the only one like you? Or are there others like you? Um, I just see me. Okay, good. So let's advance forward now to another important day in that same lifetime when something oh, is happening. You know what? I live in the tree. Ah. I live in the tree, like the little doors mm -hmm. at the base of the tree. Mm -hmm. It's like we're cat. Catherine leaves little trinkets and things for me. Mm -hmm. When she mm. leaves little trinkets for you, what do you do with these trinkets? We love them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a fairy. Mm -hmm. I'm a fairy, yeah. Very good. Tell me more about your life there with these trees. Hmm. We work with the flowers, mm -hmm. and their roots are really sh much more shallow, and their lives, they're, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. they're, I like to go into the, into the flowers like a bee. Mm -hmm. You're very small. I can be, I can, yeah, I can be small and I can be big too. Mm -hmm. So you could change. I can change. I can take many, yeah, I can take many different forms. I can, I can, I shape shift, really. I shape shift. I can be a rock. What form do you have right now? Oh, I can change on a moment. I, I can. Right. I am really more of an energy than a form. Very good. So as this energy, I'd like to follow and see what happens to you. I'd like for you to now to close this scene and go forward in time and space to when another event happens in that same lifetime that affects you. Be there now. Mm. Where are you? I'm a flower. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. I'm a periwinkle flower. Mm -hmm. And a field. There's many of me now. Mm -hmm. Is this the same life that you lived before, or is it a different lifetime? I, mean, I think it's a different lifetime, I think, now I'm more off site. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Now I'm... 
I'm just a field. I All think. Right. I maybe it's this. It's I'm a field. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Acclimate mm. yourself completely to that, and tell me what you're doing there. Mm. Oh, I'm taking the form of a field of flowers. Mm -hmm. Blue flowers that are. We're soaking in the energies mm -hmm. from the sun, and the wind, and the earth. Why have you taken really this? All, all of the elements, really. Why have you taken this form? Mm, I think just to exp to experience being a plant, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a flower specifically, a blossom. So I'd like for you to see that life of this flower and tell me what it feels like. Mm. It's peaceful. It's, it's about beauty. So I'd like for you to go very quickly through that life and tell me what happens after you lose the beauty of that flower. What happens to your spirit? Becomes heavier. Mm -hmm. Follow that. Where does that energy go? It's funneled off. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's like it's tried. It's, it, someone else wants it. Mm -hmm. Tell me about something that. else wants it. All something right. else wants it. All right. Tell me what that something else is. It's just another energy. Mm -hmm. It's a, not a luminous energy, it's dense. Mm -hmm. Follow it and see what happens. It steals it. Mm -hmm. It's stealing it. Mm -hmm. Where does it go? It's being siphoned away. Far away. It's going far away. It's being siphoned away. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Like it, like oh. hmm. Who has stolen this energy? The grays. Mm -hmm. For what purpose? They need it to create. You can't create without it. Mm -hmm. They want to create. They want Earth. Tell me more. What do they want Earth for? Just to live. Mm -hmm. mm. I see seal skins, dolphin skins. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. What does that mean? They say they they think that too. Mm -hmm. They want that too. They don't understand. They don't understand that energy, but they know it's powerful and they want it. Mm -hmm. They want they want to use it for their own for their own purposes. Mm -hmm. Their purposes are not aligned with the lights. So as you being part of this light that has been siphoned off, what happens? I try to... Mm, uh, it's like I'm um, sidetracked. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a goes down another spiral. The different spiral. Mm -hmm. Keep following that spiral and tell me what happens. Mm, it's, a, it's a downward spiral. Mm -hmm. Where's it's it not taking? necessarily negative. It just is going to some uh, some other place. Mm -hmm. Let's find out where it goes to. It's really a curvy roundabout path. Corkscrew. Mm -hmm. Are you by yourself in this corkscrew track, or are there others with you? I don't. I don't know. It's me. Mm -hmm. There are other. Uh, I don't feel like I'm the only energy though that's being siphoned, mm -hmm. but I don't. Where but do you I'm, go to? Where does it end? A, cha a chamber. Okay. Describe this chamber for me. It's like a vacuum prison. Mm hmm What's it made out of? Dark energy. Mm hmm Not black, just gray. Mm hmm Dense. Not dense like the earth in a good way. Not, not like that kind of... Mm -hmm. It's kind of oily. So what happens to you in this oily chamber? It's hard to breathe. Mm -hmm. It's hard for any other light to get in. Mm -hmm. Are there any, any others with you in this chamber? Take a look around, feel. Or are you by yourself? Uh, Feels like there are many chambers like this. Mm -hmm. It's not just me, but I, I'm, I don't have contact. I can't connect with the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any type of body, any type of energy body while you're there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I'm just energy. All right. So let's find out what happens to this energy inside this chamber. I'd like for you to fast forward and see what becomes of this energy. What's next? Hmm. What are you used for? I don't have real clarity on that, but it sort of feels like I'm the udder of a cow and when I'm just being milked. Mm -hmm. And I just... Tell me more. It's kind of... It's a prison, but there's no bars or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's just a chamber mm -hmm. and you feel that your energy is being taken from you it's being used it's being siphoned all right let's find out who is using this I'd like for you now to get clear and see it from a different perspective see it from a different perspective so you know what your energy is being used for It's just dark. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the opposite of creation. Mm -hmm. So let's find out if that energy still remains there or has it transformed allow yourself to see the process of this energy what happens to this energy this feels like it ran out i ran out all right so how is it that this is affecting the life of catherine i'd like for you to connect 
and see what has happened. Mm. Feels like it's cement on my feet. Mm-hmm. Feels heavy. Mm-hmm. Take a look at the feet and see what's there. I feel so hot. Mm-hmm. Identify it. Identify this energy on the feet. Mm. What is this hot feeling on the feet? I think it's I'm trying to transmute, I'm trying to burn it off. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to bring in the element of fire. Yeah. To burn it off, to, to transmute the dark energy. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's there. What I'm going to do, and I'm going to start shaking those feet. And as I shake those feet, we're going to bring it up and give it a voice. Let's bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. Feel it coming up the body. Feel it coming up. All the way up the body. All the way up the body. Let's give that energy a voice. Good morning. Are you the energy in the feet? I suppose. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me what kind of energy you are? Do you have a form? Mm, I don't not that I know of. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're doing in her feet? I am, I'm just trying to anchor her. Mm -hmm. Where have you come from? Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I sort of feel like I came from gravel. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what form you had before you came from gravel. Did you ever have a form when you came from the gravel? I don't remember. All right. How long have you been there with Catherine? A uh, long time. Mm -hmm. Did she call you in? I don't think she likes me. Mm. What is it that you've been doing to Catherine all this time? I don't let her see stuff. Ah, why is it that you don't let her see stuff? She'll start talking. Mm -hmm. About what? Hmm. Oh. I'm not sure, but she starts to see things like eyes. She mm. sees eyes. Well, and, then... and what are you afraid of her talking about? Why don't you want her talking about these eyes? I'm not sure. I just sort of feel like it's my job not to have her talk. Ah. Well, you say... I don't really know why. Now, what is it that you're doing to her besides keeping her from talking? Do you make her feel anything in the feet? I stop her from moving. Mm-hmm. For why? Because then she'll get stronger. Mm-hmm. And if she gets stronger, what will that do to you? Well, I failed my mission. Ah, so you do have a mission. Yeah, it, I was told not to let her move. Okay. So Keep let's, her in her place. So who sent you to her? Hmm... Um, I don't have a good memory either. Mm -hmm. I've done this for a really long time. So if someone sent you to do something and you don't even remember who it was, what's the point of doing this mission? 
It seems like you're just lost and don't know what to do. No, I'm doing a good job. You are. So mm -hmm. who are you doing the good job for? Oh, I have pride in my work. Oh, you have pride in your work. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you are so proud about? I'm doing a good job. I've kept her... I don't really remember exactly my mission, but I've done my job really good. I've kept her feeling very heavy for a long mm -hmm. time. So it seems to me that you seem to be something of the ground. Is that right? Oh, for sure. Ah. Why is it that you need to be in a human body and not ground the earth? Why mess with a human when you can be helping? Gaia keep grounded. Does that make any sense to you? I don't think much. Hmm. Wouldn't it be nice to do something really good? Be very proud of something that you can help the Earth to be? Oh, well, I thought I was helping. Hmm. But see, you're not keeping her from doing her free will. You see, humans have free will. They come here with a mission on their own, but by you keeping her grounded, you're not allowing her to do her mission. Does She's that... always saying she needs to ground. Ah. Well, we'll find out a little bit about what that's all about. Let's talk to Catherine and find out what she means by that. I'm going to count from one to three, and let's speak with Catherine. One, two, and three. Catherine, you said that you need to ground and you have this entity that is doing a very good job of keeping you from moving forward, of not letting you see things. Is this what you meant by grounding? No. No. So I'd like for you to tell this entity what you mean by grounding. I mean to bring my energies from down into my body so that I can take action. All and right. I can't, I can't take action when I'm just up and floating about. I can't make change. All right. I want to make change oh. here. All right. So let's take a deep breath in and let me speak with the entity. So have you heard what Catherine has said? She was looking for a way to connect with the earth, but she needs to move forward. Hmm. Have you been mistaken all this time? No, see, I, I was supposed to drown her. Oh, you were supposed to drown her. I'm, I'm like lead. Okay. And who told you you needed to, dr to drown her? The grays. Oh, I see. So what do you have to do with the grays? Mm. I just do what they tell me to do, otherwise they hurt me. Well, how do they hurt you? They make me feel really sad and mm -hmm. suffering. Mm -hmm. It seems that you're not part of the earth after all, are you? No, I'm toxic to the earth. Mm -hmm. What are you? I'm just create. I'm. I'm not of. I'm not of this planet. Mm -hmm. Where I'm, do you belong? A different universe. Mm -hmm. Is it a place where you need to go back to? Well, I would love to go home. All right, so what's keeping you from being home? I guess I'm... I was just doing my job. All right. Would you like me to release you so that you can go back home? I don't want to go to the Grays. All right. They're not back home, are they? No, but they'll, they'll try to get me. Well, we can do something for you. They'll try to get me. We'll find I tried out. before. Mm -hmm. Shh. Catherine is really good. All right. We're going to do I something. I come back. I come back. Let's do something to transform you so that the grays can't touch you. Would you like that? Of course. All right. Within every being, everything, there is a spark of light. 
This is the light from Creator. I'd like for you to find that light within you. They told me I wasn't from Creator. Mm, everything was from Creator. They lied to you. Find that spark and you'll see it. They said I didn't have a spark. Take a look. Do you believe their lies? Okay, yeah. Mm hmm. Take a look and see that spark. I don't see it. Create it. It's there. You are so powerful to do your mission. And where do you think this all has come from? You are creator too. Find that spark within you. It's not very big. It doesn't have to be very big because you can make it big. I'd like for you to use your intention and create that light as big as you are. <coughs> and tell me when you've done that. You have the power to do it. Make that light bigger. I'm trying. Mm, I don't want you to try. I want you to do it. Okay. Make it big. Mm. Keep making it bigger. You can do it. Okay. So there's... But... Okay. Now that light is connected directly to source energy. This is directly connected to the Creator. So let's create something all around you that will shield you to take you back home. Oh, that sounds good because there's other entities that will get me on the mm -hmm. way. So what would you like to shield yourself with now that you are this brilliant light? Compassion. Beautiful. So allow yourself now to fill this entire energy field with compassion. Mm, can I have forgiveness too? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'd like for you now to go ahead and tell Catherine how you feel about doing what you've done now that you understand your source. I didn't understand what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Would you like her to forgive you? Take a deep breath in. Catherine, can you forgive this entity for not knowing any better? Yes. All right. Would you like to send this entity your blessings? Yes. So that's many it, blessings. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Entity, now that she has given you your, your ticket back home, I'd like for you to forgive yourself now. Can you do that for me? That's not me. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm going to put my hand over her body, and I want you to give me all of those feelings that you've had, those frustrations of being kept here. All of that resentment of not being able to go back home. Feeling powerless? Give it all to me. You don't need that energy anymore. And tell me when I have it. There's a lot of me. Mm -hmm. Give it all to me. We're sending it to the universe for healing. Mm, I'm deep. I'm like a well. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. You don't need that darkness within you anymore. You are light. Pull it all out and you'll see that light get brighter and brighter. Oh, and I see the purple light. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Tell me when I have it all. It feels much lighter down, doesn't it? It does. Mm -hmm. It feels like the wind can go through. Mm -hmm. That's right. I feel the wind. So let's take all of that and send it to the universe for healing. And now that you are full of compassion, is there anything else that you would like to fill that space with? Mm, unconditional love. Let's feel that unconditional love going right through you. 
Feel it coming in. Unconditional love filling you up. And tell me when you're complete. Wow. Very good. Thank you. And now, I'd like for you to remove all of the energy from her body that you have put in there to block her. There's a lot of veins. Mm-hmm. I'd like for you to go ahead and... Like tentacles. Mm-hmm. Pull it all out. Mm -hmm. Don't leave anything mm -hmm. in. I'm in her ears a lot. Mm-hmm. Pull it all out. In her brain. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. Don't leave anything in. Mm -hmm. Disconnect everything. Mm -hmm. And tell me when you're done. So we can send you home. I'm done. Very good. So now, are you ready to go to that place where you belong? Mm, yeah. All right, I'm going to allow all of my team mm -hmm. to accompany you. I'd like to call the warrior angels forward. I, I might have broken off little pieces that are still in her. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pull those out. I'm going to use a magnet, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like little tiny shards. Mm -hmm. Pull them all out. Mm. Okay. Very good. So I've got my team my own team of extraterrestrial warriors, the angels of the white light, the warrior angels, and I'm going to ask them to accompany you back home. Is that okay? I love that. All right. So let's Thank call them you. forward and tell me what you see. Mm. It's orange. I see orange. Light. Very good. Very good. So allow them now to take you home, and may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Wow. Good, thank you so much. Oh. And now I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael to step forward. And I'd like for him to go ahead and flood this body with this beautiful green healing light. From toes all the way up to the head, and tell me what's happening to the body. It's like breezy. <coughs> Very good. Very good. And now that we understand that this entity was holding her back, let's do a scan and see if there are any others that are holding her back. Let's do a scan from head to toe and see if there are any shadows, any movement, any pinching, anything that is revealing to be attached to her. Mm -hmm. What do you feel? Mm -hmm. How does that body feel now that this entity is gone? Well, the left side feels lighter, mm -hmm. like a butterfly wing. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the right side? The right side feels it's very heavy. Mm -hmm. Let's identify it and see what that is. Let's bring that energy up. Bring that energy all the way up so it can express itself. You there on the right side. Good morning. Mm. Are you male or female energy? Any male or female energy? Mm, I don't think I think in those terms. All right. What terms do you think of? What kind of energy are you? I, I, I like to coat things. You like to coat things? Mm-hmm. What are you coating 
this body with today? Mm, like a sealant. A sealant, okay. What are you sealing her from? Mm, mm, I'm just keeping her kind of protected. Mm -hmm. Did she request the sealant? No, she doesn't usually like things glossy. I'm pretty glossy. Mm -hmm. So you're a glossy sealant. Can yeah. I call you glossy? <laughs> sure, I'm like a heavy coat. Mm -hmm. So glossy, how long has it been since she's had you on her body? Hmm. How old was she when you attached to her? When you glossed her over? Mm -hmm. See, I don't remember an event or anything. Mm -hmm. Was she a little girl or was she older? Mm -hmm. She wasn't very old. She wasn't. And what caused for you to seal to her? Did she request this? She said she wanted to toughen up. She wanted to toughen up. So she called you in? She didn't want to feel so much. Okay. So what have you been doing to her all this time? Making her less sensitive. Less sensitive. And when she is less sensitive, is she able to, to use those powers that she came in with? The intuition. Well, she just doesn't have to feel so much. Okay, so you're just kind of making her a little bit more stronger? Yeah, so she can go out in a hailstorm and be okay. Okay, all right. What other things are you doing to her? No, a little bit toxic. She's got this, she's, she hates chemicals, a lot of chemicals. Mm -hmm. She means she can walk into a room and just be like, somebody used bleach in here. It's unbelievable. There's like one drop and she's freaking, you know, mm -hmm. I think she's freaking out. Mm -hmm. So is this what she was dealing with yesterday? Well, she didn't like her room because, she, but she said it smelled like they used bleach on the sheets, but mm -hmm. she accepted it. So are you causing her to feel this way? Or is that something else? No, that's something else. She just was, she's really just sensitive to smells. All right. So let's find out if she needs this glossy sealant anymore. I'm going to count from one to three, and let's speak with Catherine. One, two, and three. Catherine, do you realize that you have a glossy sealant on your right side? <laughs> it's not so much, but now that you speak of it, I would call him polyurethane. Uh-huh. Do you need polyurethane on your body? Wouldn't it be nice to have no. these beautiful wings yeah. on both sides rather than being lopsided? That would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, it's your free will. You called it in. You need to give permission or, your, or give the, the, um, the word for this polyurethane to transform. You see, by you inviting it in, you have to be the one to say what happens to it. What would you like to transform this polyurethane glossy sealant into this time? Hmm. I think water. Mm -hmm. How would water benefit you? It can take many forms. Mm -hmm. What else? Water can also be absorbed. Right, hydrating. Mm -hmm. It can be sweated off. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what plan do you have for this? It can also help you with those toxins, couldn't it? Oh, right. It can be very clearing. Mm-hmm. Purifying, cleansing. So that when you come into a room that has had bleach, you can use it to just allow it to just flow away and not bother you. Just like when you do when you go into a shower and you allow 
all of that oh, dirt. Well, I need it in the shower too because of the chlorine. Mm -hmm. So are you ready to give the orders to this glossy sealant to be transformed now? Mm, yes, please. All right, so let's speak with it now. Glossy, have you heard what Catherine <laughs> has said? I heard. How would you like to break your, that shield Ooh. and do something? I would love to, but can we, can we use like a, a hammer so that when I crack it, it's really pretty? All right, so... What kind of hammer would you like to use? We can use a jackhammer. We oh, can... not a jackhammer. Mm -hmm. We can use prob probably a little tiny one to make a little tiny. Yeah, All I right. like cracking ice because that's so pretty. All right, so let's go ahead now and allow Catherine to begin cracking and seeing the pretty designs that Glossy turns into. Mm. Allow yourself to feel it being cracked, and as it cracks, see it transforming into fluid. Mm, it just kind of falls away. Mm -hmm. And now we can use that fluid to go through the whole body like a shower, allowing you to now use this tool to help you tolerate all of those chemicals to where it doesn't bother you anymore. So if you walk into any place that has had used use chemicals. Even perfumes. Even perfumes. Even the Macy's counter. <laughs> mm -hmm. You will be able to use this tool now. I won't get a headache. Mm -hmm. Or feel dizzy. Mm -hmm. So see yourself now flowing. And as it flows, all of it just goes right down into the soil. Hmm. Tell me when it has completely transformed. Oh, that was fast. That was easy. Very good. Very good. So take a look at your body now and see if there's anything else there. It just feels like maybe some integration work on my center line. Uh -huh. Let's find out what's there. Let's see what's there. Identify where that is. Hmm. Are we talking about the solar plexus area? No. Let's find out where that line is. It's just sort of like if your spine. Mm hmm. So let's find out what's in the spine. I'd like for you to do a scan on your spine and mm. see what's there. What's there in the spine? Jelly. Mm-hmm. Let's bring that jelly up. Let's bring that jelly all the way up. Up, 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 up. And find out. What is the origin of this jelly? Speak now. Where do you come from? Far away. Far away. Is this something that Catherine invited? Or were you put there? No, I was put there. All right, let's find out who put you there. Identify who are the ones that put you there. Dark ones. Mm-hmm. For what purpose? Mm, making her feel a little spineless. Spineless, uh-huh. What is the reason why the dark ones feel that they need to make her spineless? Mm. They don't share that kind of stuff with me. Ah, so you're just a worker. Yeah, I was just kind of got dry. I came in the form of like a ball, like good balls, like these marbles, and I just dropped them down into her. Mm -hmm. I'm like on a talons. Did like a talons like this? Mm -hmm. Bird talons. Bird talons. I'd like for you to go ahead and see who that bird talon is. Well, it seems like it's an eagle, but it's not them, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's big. It's just, just big. It's almost like it's a ship that's it's an eagle ship, but a feathered. Mm -hmm. It's a ship, but it's a bird ship. 
A bird ship. Very That's good. That's a bird ship. So let's find out how it is that Catherine got involved with this, what they need to do with her. I'm going to count from one to three and speak with Catherine. One, two, and three. Catherine, you notice that this jelly is in your spine. It was placed there. I'd like for you now to identify who it is that placed that jelly in. You have free will, and you are able to locate who it is that put it in there. Be there now and face them. Who mm. put it there? See who it is. What is the source? I don't know, but I've been on council with them. Mm -hmm. So let's find out the purpose why they have put that jelly in. I want you to meet face to face with this being. Hmm. Who is it? It's like a. Oh. What does he look like? Mm. He can shape shift. All right. What does he look like now? It's got hard skin like an armadillo or a crush crab. Mm hmm. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Claws. And what he is hides the, his face and his eyes. Well, he hides his face because he's spineless himself. He doesn't like to, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So, I'd like for you now to understand why he feels threatened by your light. Why he's had to make you spineless in this lifetime. Who is this being and why? I speak up at the tribunals. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. I just speak truth. Mm -hmm. And how does that impact this being? He doesn't want the truth. Mm -hmm. Doesn't serve him. Now, being that you are as powerful as you are to speak up at the tribunals, you have the free will on planet Earth to live your life the way it was meant to live. Since he put that jelly into your spine, he must be the one to remove it. I'd like for you now to speak up and tell him how you feel about this action that he's taken. You violated law. What does he say? Ha, you agreed. I did not agree. You tricks, you're a tricky. What else? You misrepresent yourself and your your purpose. What is the purpose? Hmm. It's not important at this time. Who's saying that? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was Catherine. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what it is about this being that you have a problem with. Let's find out the source. Who's done what to whom? Mm, misrepresentation. Mm -hmm. Cloak. Wearing cloaks. Are you both wearing cloaks? I wear a cloak. Mm -hmm. I ride in a chariot. Mm -hmm. And what do you do then? Stir up trouble. Mm -hmm. Why do you stir up trouble? It's fun. Mm -hmm. What have you done to stir up trouble? I just ride around on my chariot. Mm -hmm. It's power. I'm powerful. Mm -hmm. So what is the reason why you have now? I make dust storms. People can't find themselves. They get all confused. Mm -hmm. but let's they find think it's shadow. It's not shadow. What is it? It's chaos. Mm -hmm. So you create chaos? I do. Mm -hmm. 
So what does this have to do with the life of Catherine? She wants to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, her name, it means pure. Mm -hmm. uh, her essence is not in alignment with mine. Ah, what do you have to do with her life? What do you care? I like to think I don't care about anything. Ah, so if if it's if that's how you feel, it means that you feel powerless in some way. No, don't get tricky with me. I'm not getting tricky. I'm telling you, if you need to stir up trouble with someone, it means that you don't feel like you have enough power in yourself, enough self-confidence in yourself. What is the problem with you that you need to pick on other people? What has happened to you? I'm not sure. I mean, this is just what I do. Ah. I don't think, really. Hmm, you just do. I just kind of spin around. Mm-hmm. It's like I have these wings I can just spin around. Are you lost? Mm, I stopped looking. I'm not really lost. Hmm. So it seems to me that you've been lost for so long that you don't even know where you're going. Yeah, I think I threw food. You know what? I think I just kind of came through a portal and it was mm -hmm. like... And you're lost. Yeah, I don't really belong here. Would you like to find home again? Would you like to finally be home? Okay. Mm-hmm. We're going to do that for you. Hmm. I'd like for you to stand Can still. I go with a crow? Yes, but first you need to do something. You need to remove that jelly from her back. Oh, those were just marbles. Mm, pull them out. They're pull them just, out. They're just marbles. Pull them out. They're not hers. Well, I brought them here. Okay, I'll get them. Pull it all out. You need to be whole. Tell me when you have finally pulled everything out of her body. Well, they took a different form when they went in her, so it's the, they're not really marbles anymore. Mm-hmm. I want to show you how powerful you actually are. I want you to use your imagination and create those marbles once again. Form them again and pull them out like magnets. Mm. And tell me when you're done. Where am I supposed to put them? Ah, those are the marbles that you're going to create. You're going to use to create that portal once again. Are you ready to do that? Oh, they are magic. They're magic marbles. They are. So I'd like for you to send those marbles out, and those marbles are going to create that portal once again to go back home. Uh, okay. Tell me what oh. the portal looks like. Hmm. Don't take too long. It just looks kind of like a stream. Mm -hmm. I don't really see like a hole, like a pool kind of portal. It just feels like an energy flow. All right. Are you ready to say goodbye to Catherine? Oh, I told, yeah, I am because it's that green color that I just love. Mm -hmm. Would you like Catherine to forgive you for everything you've done? Okay, I don't really understand what I did, but sure. You caused her a lot of problems in her life, trying to make her spineless, tricking her. Okay. All right. I thought I was just making her dance. All right. Let's ask Catherine. Catherine, can you forgive this trickster for trying to make you spineless? Yes. All right. 
Take a deep breath in. And now, are you ready now to go through that green stream of energy? Yes. All right. Allow yourself to do that now. Pull yourself from her reality and let's go home. And tell me mm. what happens. I'm in the back of her head too. Mm -hmm. Pull it all out. Don't leave anything in. Yeah, I was keeping her divided. Mm -hmm. She couldn't focus on anything. Very good. So I'd like for you to shine that light that's within you and shine that light towards that portal and go right through. Oh, the crows have been calling me home. Mm -hmm. I just wasn't listening. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And tell me when the portal has closed. Mm. Close it behind you. Okay. Thank you. So now take a deep breath in. I'd like Archangel Raphael to go ahead and put a beautiful green healing light from her toes all the way up to her head, filling every single crevice. And while we're doing that, I'd like to ask some questions. This is a good time to ask the questions. Catherine has wanted to know what her purpose was in this lifetime. Can you tell her why she's here now? What is she meant to do? She saw herself as energy coming from source. What is she doing in this body of this woman named Catherine? Hmm. First she needed to really experience many healings. Mm -hmm. Learn the depths of sorrow and betrayal. Mm -hmm. Learn what it's like to not have food for your children. To experience the abundance. Mm -hmm. And to know There is always a bounty. So she needed to know the contrast? Yes. And now, how does she look? She understands the human experience. Did she come here to experience this as a human? No, she came here to heal. To heal. How is she doing as far as this work is concerned? She hasn't stepped into that power yet. Mm -hmm. What was holding her back? Mm, the experiences, obligations done out of love. Mm -hmm. Mm, wasn't the right timing. How about now? Is it her time to shine now? Indeed. Very good. She tells me she regularly sees this flowing purple energy. And she sensed that this energy was creation. Now today we saw a lot of different energies. What is this purple energy all about? What does it mean to her? Hmm. It's transformational energy. Mm -hmm. Is she using that in her healing? Yes. Mm -hmm. So when she heals someone, should she be calling forth this purple energy? Or is she purple energy? Mm, she largely is purple energy. Okay. So she uses that frequency to heal? Mm, through it, yes. Okay, good. What about the flower of life symbol? 
She sees the symbol when she looks out into the sun. Mm. What is the sacred geometry all about in her life? It's creating magic. Mm -hmm. What does she need to do with this flower of life symbol? Meditate on it. Okay. Has she been doing that? Some. Okay. Any other advice about this? Mm, just use it as a, um, a visual aid. Okay, good. And you tell me that she's here to heal. She tells me that she has energy in her hands. What can you tell her about this energy? Where is it coming from? Mm, it's the purple mm -hmm. energy. It's just how it manifests in her body. Okay. Does she have any other energy centers in her body? Mm, her entire body is an energy center. Okay. Now you showed her a lifetime when she was in the earth with crystals Yes. as a tree. Can you tell her a little bit more about that lifetime? Mm, she can tap into that energy now, mm -hmm. especially she couldn't before with the, what she sensed were cement blocks on her feet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And every time she did that, she before she felt like she was putting toxins into the earth. Okay. So now that this now, energy is gone? Now she can, she's already connected. Now the block is gone. Okay, good. Now she's also told me that, um, she connects to animals and plants. And we saw mm. a lifetime in which she was a flower. And that flower then went into a very dark area. Can you tell me her connection to animals and plants and about this lifetime that you showed her? Mm. She's really one with the elementals. And she connects into the earth and the roots. Mm -hmm. She also connects into the elementals mm -hmm. and their healing powers and their energies. So how can she do this? She had a passion for, for working mm -hmm. with the plants and now it's gone. Has something shifted? Um, it, it was time for that to shift. Okay. So that she could shift more into service work. She didn't really want to be a landscape designer. Mm -hmm. So how can she use her healing powers, her hands, her whole body, and work with the elementals in the future? Mm. Whenever she wants, she can dive into the earth like it's water, mm -hmm. swim. So she can use this in her healing? work with other people or with herself uh, I think first with herself and she will create she will create something that will be powerful and healing mm -hmm. but, but beyond explanation of science mm -hmm. and it, it will just work okay well she had a wondering about that. She's been doing a lot of research, been following mm -hmm. a lot of breadcrumbs for different things, and she seems to feel a little frustrated that she cannot bring forth this knowledge that she learned. Can you explain to her how she's going to be using this work and if she needs to remember? Hmm. Before it was more like a maze. Mm -hmm. She would follow something and then come to a block and the blocks were imposed mm -hmm. and now it'll be much more like a labyrinth okay or a celtic a celtic pattern of, with roots and intertwining in this celtic pattern will she be able to access information more knowings, mm -hmm. and it will be art, mm -hmm. 
Um, and it will be more for the masses. So she's not really going to be going back to what she's read. She's going to be just connecting with the knowing. She will function from a place of intuition and knowing, and we will download download her with symbols. Okay. She's Did had she... some downloads of symbols from the Egypt time. Okay. Was she at there at Egypt time? Yes. Okay. She has uh, many questions, which really is all one. What can she do to command over her energy systems? How she can access memories and knowledge with speed and ease? Mm. It will come to her and very flowing. Okay. So she doesn't need to do anything. It's just going to come to her? She needs to be true to herself. Okay. Is she not doing that now? She is. She has energies that wanted to divide, divert her. Mm hmm well, she says she's generally kept herself very small. And what can be done to allow other possibilities? Mm. Because she seems to attract energies. They want her light. Mm -hmm. And her knowings. And it's... Mm, she will burn so big and so bright mm -hmm. that they can take what they need without causing harm to her. Okay. And they can come into her light and transmute wonderful kind of like a firefly comes into a a light and just yes it's, she's nothing to fear okay good she's had a lingering fear of drowning mm. and we did come up with one of them that was trying to drown her one of these entities how oh, that was it what is this fear of drowning um It's really in, of no consequence now. No consequence. Was this the entity that was giving her that? Or was it something else? She was concerned if it was a lifetime in Atlantis. Mm. This is just a distraction? At, at this point, it is just a distraction. Mm -hmm. There is validity to what she, um, her knowings. Mm -hmm. But focusing energies on there now um, are of no value. All right, good. So can we do a little wipe of that so that way she doesn't feel any consequence to that drowning? Can we do that, please? Oh, sure. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wipe that. We're going to feel that wiping away. Allow yourself to wipe that lifetime away. Gone, 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 gone of no consequence. Now when you look back at Atlantean times, mm. you focus on the beauty of it. Of yes, the, that's where the field of flowers was. Mm, beautiful. Allow her to focus on the beauty of the flowers. When she thinks of Atlantis, she could see periwinkle. Mm. Very good. Now she tells me that she's also had recurring dreams of being kidnapped and held prisoner in the trunk of a car. That was the grays. That was the grays. Were they giving her that information to hide something else? They just wanted to poison her. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her a little bit about that? Mm. Did they abduct her? Or did they give her a different memory? No, they took her. All right. They don't want her to remember, so... Mm -hmm. Is it beneficial for her to remember? There is still clearing that needs to be done on it. Okay. Can we do that now? Yes. All right. So we're going to go now to that moment in time before mm. she was abducted. I'm going to count from five back to one. With each number, we're going to go deeper and deeper, clearing through all of the clutter, all of that 
those false memories, we're going to go straight to the correct memories. As I count each number, I want you to start clearing away any of those scenes that were plugged in there artificially. Beginning now, five, clearing away all of those false memories. Four, going back in time to that moment before. Three, clearing more and more memories, allowing the true memories to come forth. Two, almost there now. And one, be there now. Where are you? In the playground. Playground. How old are you? Mm -hmm. Not old. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's metal bars, mm -hmm. metal playground equipment. Okay. Look at yourself. What are you wearing in this place? I'm not sure. I'm just there. All right. So allow yourself, using your breath, to ground you, to bring you back to that memory. Use your breath to ground you more and more, seeing more clearly. And let's find out what happened. Oh, I can, I just sit here, you're so busted. Mm-hmm. You're it's, so... You're so busted. Mm-hmm. Who's telling you that? Nobody, I'm saying that. Mm-hmm. You're so busted. Pedophiles. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. Taking children. Tell me more. Enslaving children. Taking their innocence. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's behind that. I want you to see it from a different perspective, from beyond that child's body, and see the entire picture. What's happening? It's just dark. Uh -huh. Where are you? Where are you? I don't know where I am, but it's off planet. Uh -huh. Are you alone or are others with you? It's Mars. Mars. Mm -hmm. It might also be the moon. I don't know. All right, let's make it clear. See yourself making it's it Mars. clear. Mars. Uh-huh. How old are you there? Three. All right. Who's with you? Evil. Mm -hmm. What does this evil look like? Dark. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a face. Mm -hmm. What happens next? It's cloaked. What happens next? You see it from a different perspective. You're to totally safe. You see it like a movie. What happens? It's like a chain. It's like a chain. Chain gang. Where is this chain? Mm. It's chaining souls. They're chaining the souls? It's chaining souls. Mm -hmm. How do they chain the souls? Mm. I don't know because I see the chain. Mm -hmm. What are they doing with these souls? Mm, cruel. They're cruel. Mm -hmm. It's like sexual slavery. Are these all children? No, it's artists. What it's is it? Artists and writers and creatives. Mm -hmm. Are they the ones? Healers. Mm -hmm. Are these the Dreamers. ones? Dreamers. The ones that they're taking the souls from? They want their energy. Mm -hmm. What do they do with their energy? They think they can create with it. Mm -hmm. They can't. What happens next? See it like a movie. You can fast forward it. Mm. 
And Catherine knows when she's on. Catherine knows what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Catherine's working to free them. All right. Catherine can do that right now. She she's worked to free them. It's the Madeline. She calls them the Madelines. Mm-hmm. So now that we're in that place, I'd like for it to you to use your power to begin freeing these souls. Mm, Catherine has worked on this. Mm-hmm. There's just a few remnants now. She thinks they're her soul family. Mm-hmm. What is the truth? Mm. Are they her soul family? Doesn't matter, soul family yet. Okay. So, who are these that are with her on planet Mars? All of these souls. Is mm. she is she meant to do something with these souls? Let's help free them. All right. So let's use the energy right now. They, they suffer from delusions. Mm -hmm. and they're labeled as. Mm, mentally ill. Oh. No, they're not. They're oh. not mentally ill. They're healers. Okay. I'd like for you to go ahead and throw a large white net around all of these souls that are chained up. Mm, they're hiding. Throw a big net of white around them. Mm. All of these souls that have been chained up. They've been moved. You'll find them. You'll find them. I'm not sure I really think that they've been moved. Perhaps they've been cloaked. Take a look. They've been moved. They've been moved to the moon. All right. Your energy. That's why I only see the chain. All right. Does Catherine need to free these souls? It's part of her mission. All right. So go ahead and find them. All of these souls emit a frequency, and she can find them. Cast a net of white light around the moon and find them. Hone in on them. Where are they? They're in caverns. Mm -hmm. Her specialty. Caverns that have been created. Mm -hmm. Her specialty is to go in side. Mm, yes. So go ahead and send your energy deep inside the moon and find them. Oh, they're there. Mm -hmm. Connect with them and send them their own light back. Bring back that light from source and remind them who they are. Remind them of their mission, of their free will, and of their own power. Back. Bring it in. Send them that frequency. They're not crazy. Mm -hmm. They're healers. You know what it feels like to be in that energy. They're healers. Of, of safe. Send them that safe feeling. You bask. They in want it. a bridge. Mm -hmm. Make them a bridge. Make them a bridge to safe. No, there's no chains. A bridge. Mm -hmm. It's a rainbow bridge. Beautiful. Remind them of who they are. Oh, They can make it. They want to make it like it's a water slide. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's fun. They want to play. Wow. They haven't been able to play. That's great. So now I'd like for you to detach from that. Oh, there's unicorns with them too. Mm. Yes, they have unicorn energy. Very good. When they get the safety, detach from them now. Completely detach. Let these souls go on their own. 
As a healer, we must remember to always detach our energy from theirs. And now let's find out where it is that Catherine goes at night when she sleeps. Is this the work that she does? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Is there anything else that for you to tell her about that? Mm. Those are the wounds she finds on her body. Mm -hmm. What is she dealing with at night when she travels? Energies that try to siphon creation. Okay. So what can she do before she sleeps? Set her intentions. All right, very good. Can someone assist her with that, one of her guides, and remind her of that? She has many guides that assist her now, but mm -hmm. she's been blocked from seeing them fully. Okay. She has an awareness of us. Mm -hmm. How many guides is she working with? Mm, infinite. Wonderful. Now, when we talked about this playground, she also had a situation when she was four years old that she had an emergency epidectomy. What happened there? Is there any information that she needs about this? She was under a psychic attack. Okay. Was it the same that abducted her? Mm. I don't think so. Okay. What is her connection to the Midwest? She says she's heard drumming uh, and chanting. What is she picking up on? Native. Native. Mm -hmm. Are they connecting with her, or is she just hearing background noises with her psychic abilities? Both. Both. Is there anything that she can do? She can help clear the land. All right. Honor those who... Honor those. Bring the truths. All right. Will she know what to do when it's time to do it? Yeah, she does it now. She okay. makes little shrines. She doesn't really know what she's doing. But right. She makes little shrines and incantations and mm -hmm. blows. And yeah, she does it now. Right. She also has ties to her home where she currently lives. Mm, there's yeah. a river that runs underneath her home. Okay. Tell me about that river. Does she have ties to it, or is it because of mm. her roots to the trees? It's a deep river. Mm -hmm. It's transmuting, but it's... What does she need to do to help with the transmutation? Mm. The trees need access to the river. Okay. Does she need to plant trees? She, uh, she needs to see him um, visit the trees. Okay, good. Because she feels that this home is alive and sensitive to this. Is the house picking up any energy from this river? It's like an underground railroad. Okay. The tree. Yeah, with the trees and the river. They're moving energy. Yes. Okay. So as she continues to work with this, would you continue giving her information to clear this for her? Yes. Good. 
Now, she tells me that she's been triggered by seeing photographs of arched caves on the side of barren mountainsides. Is there anything that she needs to know about these? Mm, this that she lived there. She lived there. Is there anything that's... No, well, she really was more of an energy there. Okay. She was an energy that the sh shamanic people would, the healers would call in. Mm -hmm. She was the energies. Okay, good. Now she's telling me that she's beyond the deep, beyond the deep healing. She wants to be able to heal more of her lineage. What has happened in these four generations? Is there still energy there? There is. Okay. There's black magic. There's black magic. Where is this black magic coming from? Mm, bargaining. Bargaining. What are they bargaining for? Mm. Survival. Okay. Now we know that everything happens in the moment of now. So I'd like for you to take her now to that moment in which this black magic was used. And let's find out if we can assist that one that needs assistance. Take her to that moment now and let's connect. Mm -hmm. Where are you? By a hill. Okay. There's a ravine. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. There's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What is the sacrifice all about? I sacrifice my baby. For what purpose? Mm, I believe it started out as innocence. Mm -hmm. mm, but it became curiosity with power. Mm -hmm. And how has this sacrifice affected your lineage? Mm. But almost like seams of toxins. Mm -hmm. What is your name, please? What do you go by? Uh, I don't know. Um, Ruby. Ruby. Ruby, would you like your lineage to forgive you for not knowing any better? Now that you understand that you yeah, gave up something that you loved? Yes. Because this has been holding you back for a long time from not being able to evolve. Would you like to evolve? I, yes, I, yes, I, oh. I tapped into something sacred in the earth. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it was at then. Oh, oh they were, they were ruby crystals. Mm -hmm. They were Andarian crystals. And what did you do with the crystals? Uh, I, I played with them, but I, I didn't know better. Mm -hmm. And then whatever I wished for happen. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful you are. And by doing this, you have kept yourself from evolving as a soul. You've been trapped, haven't you? I, said, I, 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 don't, I, just, I don't know how to get out. All right. The only way out is through forgiveness. Can you forgive yourself for not knowing any better? Yes. All right. I'm going to put my hand over your heart. I want you to give me 
all of those regrets, all of that pain, all of that anguish that you felt that led you into playing with oh, things I'm that you like Catherine's ear. That's where I hang out. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to pull it out of your heart because your heart is where it all is. Allow me to take all of that and send it to the universe for healing. Pull it all out, all of the regrets, all of the pain that you felt. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I, just, I want my baby back. All right. Give me all of that first. And tell me when I have it all. I put her in a papoose. Mm -hmm. She didn't know. So I'd like for you to look at those baby's eyes and look down your lineage of your family and see has that baby come back as someone else? I think it's my dog. Mm -hmm. Would you like for her to forgive you now? Yes. Alright. Take a deep breath in and let me speak now with your daughter. Good morning. Hi. Can you forgive this soul for not knowing any better, for being so desperate that she didn't know what to do? Can you forgive her? Forgiving doesn't mean she did well. Forgiving. I, I'm not going to forget. Mm -hmm. You can't ever forget, but you can forgive because forgiving is stopping from you that suffering. It's taking the poison out of you. Are you ready to release that poison by forgiving her? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's talk to your mom. Go ahead and talk to your daughter. She doesn't know whether she can forgive. Tell her. You can forgive. It's healing to forgive. It doesn't mean that you forget or that you endorse what was done. But there are lessons. And forgiveness is divine. Very good. Take a deep breath in. Let's speak to your daughter. Not daughter. Your mother gave you life. And although it was a short life, we need to honor that. You would not have lived that existence without her. So we need to honor your mother. Although you had a short life, you still lived a life. And you gave yourself in sacrifice for her to learn a lesson of what not to do. Can you forgive her for that? Yes. All right. And now that you honor your mother, and respect her for giving you life. Tell me how that makes you feel. Free. Free. Very good. So with this freedom, I want you to throw that freedom out to the rest of your lineage. Now knowing that because of you holding all of that resentment, you are holding your entire family hostage. How does it feel now to release them all? Now that we honored you for mm -hmm. your life. It feels liberating. Very good. Let me talk to your mother. Mother, now that you have been forgiven and that your daughter has been set free, are you now ready to let go and finally Go to the light. Oh, yes, please. All right. So I'd like please. for you to see that light within you now. See that light within you. This is the light from source. Make that light bigger. And feel how freeing it is to bring in that source light. How does that feel? Oh, it feels very expansive. Very good. So let's continue to expand. I'd like for you to retrieve any of that magic that you put out there and transform it into that light. Yes, I'll 
sparkly now. Very good. And I'd like for you now to see who's around you. Mm. There is a whole troop of angels around you. Indeed. Headed by Archangel Michael. He's ready to take you home. Oh, yes. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Very good. And now I'd like for you to completely disconnect. Completely disconnect from all of those relationships. And now, how do you see her whole lineage after that? After honoring that child and honoring the mother? Oh, I see the blue light coming in. Mm -hmm. Very good. The iridescent blue light. Very good. Now we have a question about her body. How is her foot feeling now that we have released that entity? Oh, it feels tingly and alive. Mm -hmm. Like it wants to run and dig into the sand. And her foggy mind? How does that oh, look? Oh, it feels open. And her digestive issues? Take a look uh, and see. All of these entities had to do with these parts of the body, didn't they? Indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I have one last question. She looked in the mirror and she asked, why did she choose to be a white woman? Uh, that's because she will have credibility in this lifetime. Very good. Very good. Is there any other question that I did not ask that you would like to tell her about now? Hmm. Anything no, else? No, 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 I don't okay. I don't so, no. And I'd like to ask why you brought her here today to see me. Where could have been anybody else? Uh, she's needed. Her work is needed. Very good. Are we complete? Mm, yes. Very good. Welcome back. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling? <laughs> like I've been in a rocket ship. <laughs> You feel good? Yes. Do you remember anything? Um, I not a lot, no. No. But you feeling good? I feel really good. Yeah. How long do you feel that you were on this uh, little not a lot journey? Wow. Part of it feels like it was five minutes, and part of it feels like it was hours. Mm, yeah, well, almost close to three hours. Well, it doesn't feel like that for sure. <laughs> Except my bladder. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. It was an amazing journey, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I, yes. Yeah, we had one part of the session, which was 42 minutes, and the second one is almost coming up on two hours. So yeah, you've been gone for a while. You feeling good? Yes, Fantastic. I feel really good. Fantastic. I, I can't ask you if you want to share your session because you don't remember. And, and now I just feel like I just went like zoom, <laughs> zoom, <laughs> zoom. You did. And then I feel like I went like, like zoom Bye. down like this little like wormhole. Yeah, you did. Thank you.